Hello guys, it's me, Mira. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I have to remake this intro just for the sole reason that I lost the original and I don't know where it went. So right off the bat, I'm going to say I'm sorry about the quality of the video. Um, I'm struggling right now, so I can't exactly get the best quality stuff out right now. So I hope you guys don't mind, but... I will say that this is another doll customization video. We're going to be making my D&D character, Julia the Elf Druid. And um, right now, I shall show you guys the concept art that was drawn out courtesy of my foster sister. So here is the concept art that we will be following. Right there. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you all in the next clip. Peace. Alright, so we've got everything ready to go for the next segment. I just need to spill this hot water. That That is really hot. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Okay. So, utility knife. Move that away. Let's start off with the ears off of this doll. These dolls have come out of my stock box, which I've had currently restocked. Uh, not for long, but it has been restocked. Yeah. Okay. Looks like this is going to be a much harder process than I expected. So I may have to do this off camera. Actually, so I can focus. So, I'll be back. Stop. Alright, so I finally got the ears off. And here they are. And just for proof, the doll is now completely done there. That doll will be used in something else eventually. We're having a hard time finding limbs and stuff right now for things of the sort. So, um, yeah, uh, we're having a hard time finding limbs for dolls right now. So, <laughs> that will be another time. But either way, uh, this doll has a different arm, which actually has some, like, vine textures on it, which I'm really happy about, because that'll make the character really pop, because I have a great idea once we paint the skin. So, now I'm going to deal with the plugs, and I will get back to you guys soon. Alright, so I've currently got the whole doll's head completely naked. Um, naked. Nude. Nude. And I am currently pulling out hair still. Uh, I've got quite the pile in front of me, but it's still, it's still coming. So I'm going to do this for the next little bit and we'll see where this gets me. And then we will glue the ears to the head and paint the head clearly and the body because it's all getting repainted to something similar to my skin tone. And we're going to go from there. So yeah. Okay, this is as good as we're going to get. So, I'm going to put away my supplies, throw some stuff out, uh, clean up my pliers, and I will get back to you guys once I am gluing the ears on, which will be downstairs in the workshop. So, I'll see you guys there. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the doll workshop. This is simply a unused kitchen in the house that I'm going to be using now as my doll workshop. So I've got all the supplies here. We went out and went shopping today and got it all ready. And so we're going to start making this doll. I'm excited. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking some pins and I'm going to be gluing them into the little crevices inside of the ears. And I'm going to then stick them into the doll head and do some more glue to reinforce it all. And yeah, so I'll see you guys once the ears are on. I just need you to help me hold this while I glue it down. Uh, wait. Oh, just, yeah, be careful. And this is why you have foster siblings who know what doll customizers do, guys. Yeah. She watched a lot of Doll Eightful when she was younger. Not so even younger, like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've gone. 
And that was the wonderful Erica who drew the concept art that you guys just saw earlier in the video. So, since we already had her shoes, but one was broken, I just went ahead and quickly fixed it. And these shoes, I don't even think, will need to be painted because her design is going to be very nature and green and brown. So, I don't even think these are going to need to be painted, but I might paint them anyway. But, yeah, uh, these are fixed now, and we're good to go. Right, so, I've got my doll head all done. As you can see, pretty cute, eh? Okay, I dropped it. So I'm going to be mixing these Dollar Rowney acrylics, like always, um, to make the skin tone. And I'm just realizing that I didn't ask to tone her face yet. I will ask about that. Um, but like I said, I'm currently struggling, so I may not be able to ask to tone her face. Might just have to paint right over it, which is fine. Uh, so I'm gonna go see if I can do that. If not, then we'll have to paint right over it, but I will see you guys in a bit. Alright then, so I did my very best to get my doll's factory paint off. Um, it's definitely a big mess, but we can make it work. So now it's time to mix up the color for the face. Alright, so we had a little bit of an accident. Um, while Erica was handling the doll, she took off one of the ears, and we realized that turning them around and flipping them the other way would actually make it look more elf-like. So, we're going to plug back in the glue gun and fix that, and then paint the skin. We'll come back to you once the skin's painted. <laughs> Alright, so, I've gotten some of the... Uh, skin tone on this part of the doll done, and some is drying here. Yes, I did sand the body this time, for those of you who are wondering. Um, but yeah, we're going to be shutting down operation for tonight since things get shut down here pretty early, and I'm going to be uploading this overnight, so if you see this, hey, um, tune in for part two hopefully tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Peace!